everybody and uh, welcome again to the United Ireland Chapter. Uh, my name is John Cunningham and I'm your education coordinator. Uh, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, when I was asked to be co education coordinator, um, it went like this. Uh, we're putting the new committee in place and uh, we've nominated John Cunningham to be education coordinator. I'm in shock, I do that, I do that, uh, not knowing, of course, uh, what I was letting myself in for, you know. <laughs> so I went off anyway, I, I did the training in, uh, in the hotel and um, lost all my notes, lost all my web contacts and uh, started to panic, you know. <laughs> so to cut a long story short, um, as you do, I went to the internet and I started doing some research on the internet. I'm piecing, picking pieces together and putting them into presentations. And, and now I love it, you know, I love it. But it was through my research um, on the internet, into networking, that I discovered networking is such a huge, huge learning process. Remember this one, there's no such thing as a natural born networker. Networking is a huge, huge, huge learning process. <coughs> but I'm not going to go into all that today. Today I want to focus on one aspect of networking. <coughs> and I believe that this aspect of networking is very, very important every single person in this room. And that is following up on a following up on a referral. And I'm going to keep this very, very simple. When do you follow up on a referral? And the simple answer is you follow up on a referral as soon as you can. That's almost the meat of it. Remember, you're the person who has sought this referral, and you're the person who has to turn it into business. It's not up to the person who gave you the referral to turn it into business, it's up to you. <coughs> so you get on the phone, you get on the phone as soon as you can, and you leave that all-important message. And later on, you get back to the office, and you do that email, <coughs> hello. This is John from the Stain Busters. Um, I'd like to carry out a free demonstration at your premises. Or whatever the information is that your source has passed on to the third party. And you wait for a reply. And you don't get one. So you give it a bit more time. And you wait for a reply again. And you don't get one. So what do you do? Do you forget about it and think you've been given a bad referral? Don't ever, ever forget about it and think you've been given a bad referral. Go back to your source. Discuss it with your source. Seek more information. It could be that your, your referral is on holidays. Could be sick. Could be, could be various circumstances under which your referral has not come back to you. So seek more information and go back and pursue it. Pursue it through any whatever channels of communication are open to you. Pursue it. Get back on more emails, more phone calls, more messages. And you wait. <laughs> and you wait for a reply. And you pursue it, you really pursue it, you wait. And you don't get any reply. You don't get any Well, now you know that something, something's gone wrong. Something has gone wrong now, right? Okay? Now, it is my personal, personal, honest opinion that there's no such thing as a bad referral. In my opinion is, there has been an unclear communication somewhere along the line between the three parties, okay? The person seeking the referral, 
the person receiving the information or transferring the information to the third party. That's why it's important when you are giving your 60 second presentation that you're clear in what you're seeking. You should have your 60 seconds prepared before you come to the meeting. There's no point in getting up and trying to blag. Blag is 60 seconds because you're going to be unclear in the communication, in what you're putting across. So you need to prepare your 60 seconds before you come. It's equally important that when you're receiving the information, that you're listening to the person, you're listening attentively and you're taking a couple of notes. But there's no point in trying to prepare your own 60 second presentation when somebody else has given their six because you're going, to, you're going to be muddled. You're going to pass on the wrong information. There's no point in trying to scribble out a rushed referral when somebody has given their 60 seconds presentation because you're going to be unclear. So, so the lesson today, folks, the lesson is very, very simple. Very simple. Be clear in all your communications between the three parties. Be clear in all your communications. Get on to that referral immediately. Pursue that referral. Turn that referral into business. Happy networking and thank you for listening. <laughs>